Hey everybody, welcome to the video. If you're new to the game and want your game to go from this to this, then you click on the right video because I'm going to show you how to download mods for MX Bytes. Now before we get started with this video, you're going to want to go ahead and download RINRAR. That'll just make sure you'll be able to extract the files to get the file out of the download. Next, what you want to go ahead and do is find your C drive, go to users, find your user, go to documents, go into Baboso, MX Bikes, find this mods folder right here, right click and pin to quick access. This just makes it easier. So when you're downloading stuff, uh, you can go in your downloads folder, right click it, extract, copy these, go into your mods and just paste whatever. Now we're going to start the tutorial off by downloading some bikes. Come to mxbmods.com, bikes, new bikes, and click on this OEM motocross bike pack. It'll take you to this. Scroll down, click on downloads. Download from any one of these recommended. Once that's done, it'll show up in your downloads folder like this. Right click, extract here. You will then get this mods folder. If you wanted, you can copy all of these. But at the same time, you can copy this mods folder. Copy it. Mods. Click back on this MX Bikes directory. And just paste it in. Replace the files. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to do it. But for you, it should just paste right in. Next, we're going to download some bike liveries. So come here at the top to bikes liveries if you want to choose a specific bike brand that you want the livery for this is what this is for but if you want to look from all of them just to click on liveries it'll take you to this you can just find which one you like i'm going to choose this one click on downloads i use 450 you can choose whatever which one you want if you're following this now that it's done downloading you get this file right here copy it mods bikes find whichever specific one mine is the ktm 450 paints paste it in next we're going to download model swaps now there are two main choices for downloading model swaps there are these dash pack ones or there's the project oems which are kind of add-ons to the bikes you've already downloaded so you come to this website find this post right here And you'll see free model swaps it'll be in a mega folder just click here then if you want to you can download a specific one you want or you can just hit download download the whole file i already have these installed so i'm going to download dash packs oem ones i'm going to go with the ktm air downloads once that's done you have it in your folders 2025 KTM without handguards. Right click, extract here. You get these files from here. Select them, copy, mods, bikes, find the KTM, and paste it. Next, we're going to change the bike sounds by coming to bikes, sounds. Then scroll down till you'll see sound mods 2023 updated. Go to downloads, download from Mega. Now let us in your download folder, right click it, RIN RAR, extract here, open up, keep going. So if you want to use any of these sounds on any bike you want, you want to copy this sound mods folder, come into the bikes folder, right click, paste, already have it in there so I don't need to now if you want to keep the files on your computer you can rename it to sound mods or whatever you want right click copy come to your mods right here paste already have it right here so whenever I want I can change whatever bike sound I want to whatever now we're gonna download wheels come to bikes click on wheels find any one the the default ones that come with the bike pack are good they're just visuals so you can choose whichever one you want i'll choose these p2 sta wheel imports go to downloads 
download it from Google Drive. Now that it's downloaded, you get this folder right here. Extract here. You get this OEM underscore MX. Copy it. Come to your mods, tires, and paste. Now we're going to download Rider Stands. That's just in the menu. It's only visible in the menu. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. I'll download the Corona Extra. Go to your downloads folder. It'll be in this folder right here. Extract here. Now copy this misc folder come to steam the cog right here manage browse the local files and then this part in this gray right here right click paste it already have it downloaded so you just need to paste it next we're going to download some tracks so I'll just come up here if you want to choose a specific uh type of track go ahead but it doesn't matter so i'm going to download this super cross track right here Now that it's done, you get this file right here. Copy it. Now for this, say you downloaded all of the racecraft supercross tracks, you can right click new folder, name it racecraft supercross, paste it in there, and in game it'll show up as the folder. So when you choose it, it'll just have these two tracks that are able to be selected. Next, we're gonna move on to rider gear. And that will be how the rider looks. I'm just going to use these Supercross winners from Daytona. Downloads. Download from the Mega. Once that's done, you get a WinRAR file like this. Right click, extract here. You'll get this folder. Select them. Copy. Mods. Come to Rider. Rider's at the bottom. Default to Max paints and paste now we're gonna download rider gloves so i'm gonna rider click on gloves find any glove you like i'm gonna just download these downloads media fire now that it's done you get this folder right here right click rinrar extract here now this folder copy all of these Come to mods, rider, riders, default MX, gloves, and paste. Next, we're gonna download boot models. So come to rider, boots, boot models. You can pick any one. I don't have these and they're good. So I'm gonna download them. Come to downloads, download this top one. Once that's done, you get this WinRAR file right here. Right click extract here you get this right here come into it take this copy mods rider boots and paste next we're going to download boot paints so for this rider boot boot paints now you have to be careful because some of these are not the right ones for the boots you've downloaded so just make sure you check that every time after finding paints for the boots you've downloaded come to the downloads media fire or mega for these download now that it's done you get this folder right here right click extract here then if you want to copy this mods folder paste it in here you can but i'll just show you where copy all of these mods rider boots Come into the T Crane Tech 10s, paints, and paste. Next, we're gonna download helmet models. Come to Rider, helmets, click on helmet models, then just find any one you want. After finding the helmet you wanna download, come to downloads, click on one of these top two. I'll do Media Fire. Now, I don't know if these paint updates are included, so I'll just download that just in case. Now that it's done downloading the two files I've downloaded for these, just extract both. Copy these right here, these four. Go to mods, rider, helmets, paste. Now once those are pasted in, I'm gonna come back to your downloads, 
get the paint pack copy go back to your mods writer helmets and paste them all into these next we're going to download helmet paints so come to writers helmets helmet paints find whatever paint that you want for the specific helmet that you downloaded download it from mega or wherever now that it's done downloading come to your downloads folder right click extract here you get this folder open it select them copy mods writer helmets and it's for these four right here so just come into the paints paste them in Now we're gonna download a new background and a new UI. So just come to other, come to UI. I'm gonna choose dark UI. And to get this background right here, uh, it's in the description. It says it right here. Just read that. Make this in a new tab. I'm gonna choose white accents, download it. Go to the background link download that too once they're both downloaded extract the dark theme then you'll get the ui you just want to copy it come to steam cog manage browse local files paste it in there go back to your downloads showroom extract it too you get the miscellaneous folder copy it same folder and just paste that in there too now we're going to download max HUD. What you want to do is come to other plugins, find max HUD on the right, download it from mega. Click right here, just download it by itself. Go to your downloads folder, right click, extract it, open it. Now you want to make a folder called plugins. Then you just need max hud and mix b64.dlo put that in the plugins folder and max hud data now you can get rid of these copy the plugins folder that you made go to steam manage browse local files and paste now we're going to download reshade type in reshade in google or wherever Gonna be the first link reshade.me download reshade 6.4.1 now it's downloaded double click find mx bikes open gl for you it'll have boxes on the left side right here uh it'll have check and uncheck right here on this top right you want to make sure everything is checked and go with through with the installation now you want to use reshade so what you want to do is come to other reshade presets I think this is the best one because it's bright. One is a photo reshade. One is just a writing reshade. So I'll download both of them. Now, because it is the way it is, some reshades get blocked. Just allow it. Now that's done. Go to your downloads, extract it. You'll get this. Doesn't matter which one you want. I have both of them already, but I'll just show you. So just copy. Come to Steam, Manage, Browse Local Files. You'll see Reshade Shaders in your local files. That means you've downloaded Reshade. So what I did is right clicked New, created a Presets uh, Reshade folder. And it's already in there. So which you just copy and paste. And that's it. Now that we're in game, we can check to see if everything was downloaded correctly. So we see the background. It was downloaded correctly. You can see it just like that. The UI all downloaded correctly. Now we can check out the rider and the bikes. It'll look like this. Everything default. And now you see OEM at the end of these. Those are the new bikes you've downloaded. So we'll switch to the KTM 450 to get that model swap from Dash Pack. We see the liveries there. It's not going to work because it's a different model. Helmet. We see the helmets. We've got these four helmets, the Fox V3 RS. And we have the paints that we've downloaded. The Fox Emotion. We got goggles too. 
all of these helmet can that just puts a gopro on top redder gear there's somewhere in here the ones that we've downloaded but it worked gloves we downloaded gloves too these fist glove stalkers uh we take protection off and our boots the t crane tech tens and the ones we've downloaded so now we've checked the bike and the rider we can check the track we can see that it created a folder for us right here and it is around for glendale so that worked also now we can go in game and test out max hud now we're in game it should look exactly like this uh just turn everything off if you want to go through every single thing go ahead change everything i'm going to enable standings speed and timing and also fn home on 60 percent or just the home key on a full size will bring up reshade but the ultimate reshade reshade preset and those work perfect all right everybody that's the end of the video if for whatever reason your mods aren't working when you download them and put them in game just double check make sure you're not downloading it to one drive because i know that can mess some people up so just double check and make sure i'll also be uploading more videos soon so like subscribe and have a good one